Okay, so we have breaking news out of Ottawa. It looks like the government of Ontario has frozen the funds of the Canadians, Americans, and people all around the world, the working class who wanted to support the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa and all throughout Canada. They've frozen the funds per their uh, supposed law. I don't know if they're, I'm not very up to date on Ontario law, but I just feel like this is a blatant violation of the rights of the people. Um, and I don't see how they have any authority to just freeze the funds of a group that has organically and legally raised these funds and are standing up for individual liberties in Canada, a supposed free Western nation. And everything the government of Ontario and the RCMP and the Ottawa police and all of these groups are doing are a violation of, of common law and a violation of the Charter of Rights in Canada. They stole people's gasoline. There's new video of them stealing people's firewood, firewood and cardboard because I guess they're afraid they're going to keep too warm with the cardboard. This is what I'm talking about. They're trying to freeze them out, and they're trying to now freeze them out with money. And it looks like probably steal their money again. And this is after GoFundMe, as I reported in a previous video, GoFundMe a few days ago last week froze the funds that uh, donated to the convoy through GoFundMe. The uh, Pulse Millennial here reporting on this the Ford government has gone to court to freeze the funds of the Freedom Convoy, according to the Toronto Sun's Brian Lilly. The court was issued, or the order was issued by the court today, and all funds are frozen until further notice. What gives them the right to do this? You know, you are in an unfree society. Wake up. Ah. Oh. Yada, yada, yada here. Um, and the article goes on to say, it is worth noting that the funds have been frozen, not seized. So not stolen yet. Today, the attorney general brought an application of the Superior, Superior Court of Justice for an order pursuant to section blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read the, the, I don't care what section of the criminal code it is. This shit just pisses me off, man. I'm really so sick of like us, us always getting just abused right the, the the people are just getting abused it's like an abusive relationship this is why you get people that are just so skeptical of every single little piece of information that comes from any authority figure that suddenly you have like uh, like millions of people that think the earth is flat because because the, we've been abused by our authorities by our our supposed leaders in every sector of society, whether it's in the government, where, whether it's in the scientific field, the academic field, whether it's in finance, the big banks, whether it's in any of these disciplines, we've been abused. They've been taken over by an evil force, a satanic force, and they are um, uh, dom they're, they're, they're attempting to dominate us, right? They're, they're attempting to make us submit to their whims and their wills. They're evil. And so after all these lies and all this deceit and all this malintent, after a while, you're just like, you know what? The earth is flat, dude. You know, and uh, and, and and all of the, these things, right? So and th there's more examples I could use. I'd probably get thrown off YouTube if I even said, I can't even make jokes. I can't even make jokes. I mean, what more... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, boys. I'm tired. Both figuratively and literally. Um, this afternoon, the order was issued. It binds any and all parties with possession or control over these donations. The convoy's lawyer, Keith Wilson, recently spoke about funding at a press conference where he discussed the importance of Bitcoin. That's one of the solutions I was talking about. With respect to Bitcoin, what we've witnessed, what the world has witnessed, is the power of government to manipulate the flows of people, people's hard-earned dollars to advance a government's objectives and to seek to defeat the will of individuals in their democratic process. I have been following Bitcoin very closely. It's a decentralized platform for people to exchange their hard-earned value with someone else 
for theirs, Wilson continued. It bypasses and constraints the arbitrary control of government. This is the perfect example of why fiat currency is in trouble. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and I get these comments all the time on any video I talk about crypto, but people that have no clue what they're talking about when it comes to crypto, they're just so dumb. They have no, no idea how it works. Nothing like that. Uh, like I had a comment the other day um, when I mentioned crypto to be in a solution when GoFundMe was first frozen for, for the Freedom Convoy. You know, I mentioned crypto and they're like, the whole point of crypto is to be able to stop and freeze the front. The, the government could come in and freeze the funds of crypto and stop a transaction from happening whenever they want. That's literally like the exact opposite of what crypto does. I, I, I can't even, the, the whole point of crypto is once you send a transaction, nobody can stop it. Not even, not, not even you or the other person. Like, no one in the network can stop it. It's impossible. I, I don't. I, I just don't understand how people can speak with such conviction and authority on topics they have zero knowledge of. And, and so, like, that's actually one of the problems with crypto is that if you send something, nobody can stop it. And because if you send it by accident, you're you're screwed. It's gone forever. Like, there's stories of people who send send like their own money to their own other wallet. And like get a key off and then lose all their money forever. No government can help them. No authority. There's nobody. It's gone forever. It's in an unknown wallet now. Done. And it's final. So so like this is actually a problem with crypto that there isn't somebody that can come and stop or take back a transaction. That's actually one of the issues that people bring up. Like this is kind of, like th this is why like I'm just I'm just really tired, you know, and um here, let me drink some tea. It's just, um, I'm just so done with the ignorance. But it's kind of funny. The ignorance is actually pretty funny sometimes because you have Juliet Kayum. I'm not even sure who this is. I know it's a CNN person. Um, and she, she says this about the Ambassador Bridge. Okay, so there's a bridge... I think this goes in, is this going to Toronto? I don't even know where this bridge is. Oh, Detroit, between Ontario and Detroit. So, yeah, close enough. So, but between Ontario and Detroit, it's a bridge that accounts for 28% of the trade movement between the U.S. and Canada. Of course, the Freedom Convoy, or members of, just truckers, the people, have blocked the bridge, so nobody can go over the bridge. Um, So, this is this is actually a huge deal, right? And she says this, of course, CNN, right? The convoy protest, applauded by right-wing media as a freedom protest, is an economic and security issue now. The Ambassador Bridge link constitutes 28% of annual trade movement between the U.S. and Canada. And then she says this. This is what she says. Slash the tires, empty the gas tanks, arrest the drivers, and move the trucks. Say that out loud to yourself for a second. Slash the tires, empty the gas uh, gas tanks, and move the trucks. This is this is what I'm. These people are so dumb. They're so dumb. Maybe I'm missing something. But if you slash the tires and empty the gas tanks, you're not going to be able to move the trucks, right? But but they they miss it. They're paid millions of dollars a year to do this. They're they're supposed to be professionals at calling out the opposition, at calling out dissidents, at being government propagandists. And this is why I'm white-pilled, because these people are dumb, right? They're paid millions of dollars a year, probably not, not only by their company, CNN in this case, but probably like backdoor deals with CIA and all this other stuff, right? Going on deep state, blah, 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 New World Order, Great Reset, Klaus Schwab, George Soros, whatever. And they fail miserably by saying something that makes absolutely no sense, even if it were to, if even if it's tongue in cheek, it's like, dude, that's not even prop propagandistically, 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 it's not even good. It's bad. It's dumb. It's dumb. Very dumb. Uh, more white pill though, a little bit, at least a couple days ago, you know, towing companies, I, I, I reported on this in, in Coots, uh, near the border, 
of, of Canada and all that in Alberta, uh, <laughs> uh, towing companies there were refusing to tow away the trucks and coots. And now they also are refusing to do it in Ottawa. Yeah, this is why this is why the government is in such a sticky situation. This is why the freeze and the funds. There's nothing else they can do. They're really, really in, in you know, over their heads. And you know, the, like I mentioned in a previous video, you had the police stealing gas from the protesters, but you have all these people bringing jerry cans now um, as a form of protest to the uh, Ottawa convoy. And uh, they're just, uh, I, most of them are empty. It's more of a symbol, symbolic thing. I bet you that they're smuggling some real gas in there too within the protesters. Great way to like sort of um, hide within the crowd, so to speak. But, uh, you know, as part of the protest, they bring all these jerry cans uh, full or empty of gasoline. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. And then um, here in the U.S., magically, mysteriously, and uh, conveniently considering there's an election in a few months, a big election, 2022 midterms, uh, now they're lifting all the mandates all at once. I mean, I, I, see, I see, I see this now, and I'm just like, now I'm so skeptical of the government that I'm like, okay, this is part of the plan. Like, what are they doing, right? What's, what's, what's the the big, the big, uh, you know, what's the catch, right? What's the catch here? Why are you lifting all the mandates? All of a sudden, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, uh, California. All in like two days, we're all just like, yeah, yeah, all the mandates are gone. We're lifting all the mandates. No more school, no more masks, no more vaccine mandates, no more, um, no more uh, nothing. That's it. It's time to, and they even say like, time to get back to normal. Time to, uh, time to live with COVID. I'm like, what? It's all, all in a matter of like two days. I'm like, uh, okay. Leanna Wen, the darling of of uh, robbing you of your God-given liberties, the darling of the CIA and, uh, you know, uh, media hoaxes, right? The woman who went up on CNN, she, she's a doctor, right? I've talked about Le Leanna Wen quite a bit. She's a doctor. She was uh, interviewed by mainstream media during the Boston bombing. She's constantly the past two years being interviewed by CNN, and mainly CNN, as like an expert uh, uh, to to basically uh, threaten the unvaccinated with like, you know, the worst mandates imaginable to mankind. She said not too long ago. She said this like three months, four months ago. Okay, yeah, five, min five months ago. The unvaccinated should not be allowed to leave their homes. And now she's saying, before there were two camps, for and against pandemic restrictions. Now there's a third, pro-restrictions earlier, but recognizing it's a different time now. This group wants to move from vitriol and divisiveness to nuance and compromise. Mm, yeah, I'm sure. And she's on mainstream media saying things like masks don't work and all this now. I, I just can't even believe like these people on, the, on, on a whim, okay? at the drop of a hat and within a matter of literally one week, literally one week, mandates are all lifted. Leanna Wen is on CNN saying like, ah, oh, time to live with COVID, lift all the mandates. We, we have to move on. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is, it. is it the trucker convoy? Are they afraid? Maybe. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe. I mean, I'm white pill, but I'm not this white pill. Like this doesn't make sense to me. The fact that it just seems coordinated. It, it just seems like there's more to it. I don't know what it is. No clue. No clue. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think about all this. I'm curious as to what your thoughts are and why the mandates are suddenly lifting. In obviously many countries in Europe, you have like Denmark, Sweden, obviously the UK, Ireland, uh, other countries as well. And then also the blue states here in the US, which uh, obviously the red states already pretty much had the mandates lifted for a while now, but the blue states kind of been going on and off. Now they're lifting them completely again. And you got, you know, the Leanna Wens and everybody else saying we got to live with COVID now. I think it's because of the 2022 elections. And I think they're going to try to maybe ease inflation a little bit best they can, possibly raise interest rates a little bit just to make Biden look a little better and make people 
not dread their existence here in the U.S. and like think we're just you know spiraling into oblivion, uh, both economically and culturally. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, or it's just like you know a prep for the next big con. Or maybe they already did what they wanted to do. The deed is done. You know, uh, roll up your sleever. Injections are like irreversible. Uh, so you know they just wanted people vaccinated, so they did that, and now they're they're done. But for whatever reason, right? Of course, of course, for your safety, right? Of course. Um, for whatever reason, and um, and we'll see what what the result is of that, right? So so. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Um, also, if you want to contribute to the channel, I have Patreon and I have crypto addresses in the description box below. You can contribute. It's been pressed. Keep your head up. Stay real and no fear.